Welcome to Light Over Heat with Professor David Yamani. This week, I have to talk about the issue of guns and race. This week, I was supposed to do a little celebration of the 20th consecutive week of posting a Light Over Heat video. I had a nice package of me shooting some fun old-timey guns and a fully automatic Mac-10, but events over this past weekend with the white supremacist shooting at the grocery store in Buffalo requires me to pivot to deal with something more serious, which is the issue of guns and race. And I always say that you can't consider the issue of guns in America without considering the issue of race because you can't consider the issue of America without considering the issue of race. So if you look at this diagram, this is how I see things, not drawn to scale, but we think about all of American culture. Gun culture is part of American culture. Racism is also part of American culture. And so it's not surprising that we would find some overlap between the two. And as white supremacy is part of the racism in America, we also see some overlap there in this Venn diagram, some level of overlap between racism, white supremacy, and guns. Now, that doesn't mean that all of gun culture is racist, as some people will say, or that all gun owners are white supremacists as some people would say. But what I was really saddened by in seeing some of the response to this Buffalo shooting was how quickly people within the gun culture, some people, obviously not all people, not even most people, but some people immediately moved to deflect attention away from white supremacy as being the primary motivator for this action. Uh, and I just think that that doesn't represent the reality of the situation and it doesn't represent the reality of the United States. Now, of course, we have made progress over the years from the founding era where some of our founding fathers of the nation were slave owners. We fought a civil war over the issue and many people, many white people, gave their lives for that cause. And so we can't say there hasn't been progress. There's been tremendous progress in my view. That probably makes me a liberal, I guess. Um, but we also need to remember Frederick Douglass's admonition that if there is no struggle, there is no progress. This progress that we have made as a nation in living up to our ideals of equality has been something that has been fought for and pressed for at every stage. And I think if we want to make a more inclusive American culture, which will be a more inclusive gun culture, then we can't turn our eyes away from the issue of race and pretend it's not there. We need to continue to hit it head on. We need to continue to struggle so that we can have progress. That's my two cents. I have no idea everything that happened with this most recent shooting. I think that there's strong evidence that the shooter is going to come out as having been racially motivated or motivated by racial antagonism. And I hope that everybody, both within the gun culture and outside of the gun culture, takes this sort of terrorist action seriously. Thanks, and stay tuned next week. We'll have that more upbeat, celebratory, light overheat video. You can watch me have fun shooting some guns.